Okay, so for today, um, I'll give you a parang rundown lang sa um, of how we can use stereographic projections para sa ano natin, no, plastic deformation na uh, kinds of problems. So, let me share my screen. Ito siya. So, this is uh, parang a rough sketch of what the uh, stereographic projections are. And I think um, na-discuss na to sa ano, no, MET uh, 16, konti. Tama ba? Yes po, sir. Ha, tapos na kayo mag-MET 16 or nag-MET 16 ngayon? Tapos na po, sir, last sem. Okay, that's good. No? So, pwede siguro uh, bilisan lang natin konti ito, no? Itong, itong part na to. So, um, basically, meron tayong ano, no, mga different elements. So, I'll just hide some of the elements. No? So, let's start with, ano muna? Uh, with, with the basics muna. No? So, meron tayong sphere. So, itong sphere na to, dito natin uh, tinitingnan yung relationships ng mga angles to different, uh, or yung relationships of planes to different other planes and kung ano yung mga different angles na napoform nila. No? So in crystallography, usually, we want to look at uh, yung mga crystallographic planes natin. Tapos titingnan natin kung ano yung relationship nila with the other planes. No? Okay? So um, for us to do that, we need a sphere no? para doon tayo. Kasi a sphere, if you have a certain points on the sphere, then you take a line and uh, measure the angle between uh, from the center of the sphere up to the surface of the sphere, marami kang uh, sort of relationships makukuha, no? So, it's essential na meron tayong sphere dito sa stereographic projection. Okay? So, um, after the sphere, lalagay tayo ng equatorial plane. So, ito yung tinatawag natin equatorial plane. So, the equatorial plane is just a plane that intersects with your uh, sphere uh, para makapag-produce tayo ng, or para malagay natin into a 2D space yung parang 3D relationships dito sa sphere na to. Okay. So, um, if a equatorial plane intersects our sphere, then therefore it makes a parang meron siyang ano no, an area of uh, or a line of intersection dapat siya, which is actually just the circumference of the sphere. No? And the area covered by the circumference of that um, sorry, circumference of that um, circle no, or parang Itong broken line na to, itong circle na to, this is the line of intersection between your, um, between your, ang tawag dito, yung equatorial plane mo and the, uh, and the uh, sphere, no? And this primitive circle is kung saan natin ipaplot yung uh, mga different uh, angles natin, mga different points, different lines, etc. Okay? So, uh, dito sa primitive sphere, uh, for us to be able to do that, kailangan natin ng parang, north south na pole no so the north south pole itong ano na to line na to is uh, a line that passes through the center of the sphere tapos it's perfectly uh, vertical no meaning perpendicular siya doon sa primitive circle natin okay so after that pwede natin ilagay yung um, crystal natin no so if we have a crystal inside so let's just say na yung crystal natin is um, perfectly inside the circle uh, in, in in the center of the uh, sphere then whatever relationships we want to look at kaya natin siya ma-determine by projecting it into the primitive sp sphere so how it works is for example meron tayong let's just say a uh, certain uh, ano no kunwari lang meron tayong kunwari uh, let's take this plane no and this plane is if you remember, ito yung plane na, wait lang, parang mali. This is the 111 plane, no? Tama? Naalala pa ba yung crystallography nyo? So it uh, has uh, vectors na 110 dito, 110 dito, and another 110 dito. Uh, such that meron tayong nung, ano no, <coughs> um, itong 111 plane na to. So if you take the 1 1 plane and if you want to project the 1 1 plane dito sa line na to, uh, dito sa primitive circle na to, then the easiest way to do that is to describe the plane as if it were a line. No? So um, one property of planes is that if you have a plane gunware na ganyan, and you take a vector that is normal to that uh, plane, 
Then one interesting um, property of this line is that it perfectly mirrors your movement ng plane na to. So for example, if this movement, if this plane moves by a certain alpha dito, then the line, the vector also or the normal also moves a certain na uh, na alpha, no? Okay. So whatever movement na ginawa ng plane mo is yun din yung gagawin na movement ng vector na to. Okay. So kaya tinatawag natin to as the pole, no? So we call call this as the pole of the of a plane. Okay? And what and the pole perfectly describes what the plane is. So if we were to draw the pole, para ito, we draw a I don't know, um a vector. Tapos ang gagawin natin is we make it such that yung vector ng uh, pole na yon is magta-touch or it starts from and since this is a vector no, we can translate it. And let's just say na we start from the center of the circle, no? So, gagawin natin is, uh, translate natin itong vector na to. Move natin siya such that, ulitin ko lang, no? Let's move it uh, such that it starts from the, ano, no? Center of the, um, of the, of the sphere, okay? So, if I were to create a line, then it will intersect the sphere at a certain point. No? So, pwede siyang dito sa surface na to. This is its intersection. Now, the way st stereographic projection works, and probably you know this by now, no? is that uh, pag kinuha mo yung intersection na to, tapos pinoject mo either sa north or south pole, then you will get, for example, if I connect this with the south pole, okay, and dito pala sa, this is the intersection of the north, and dito siguro yung north no that was yung south somewhere dito okay so if i intersect that then wherever it intersects the uh, primitive plane that is the projection point okay so there are certain projections na kunwari um if you have a line kunwari na ganito no let's create a new line if i have a line Ah, uh, no, sorry. Uh, if I have a line, kunwari ganito, pababa. So, it intersects somewhere dito. So, somewhere at the bottom of the sphere, no? If I were to connect it sa south pole, you will notice na... Wait, uh, let me do that again, no? So, kunwari lang, ijajay ko lang nun dyan. Tapos, uh, this uh, vector here intersects this, uh, ano it is a particular point doon sa sphere tapos pag kinonek ko siya sa south pole yung intersection niya with the um, equatorial plane is somewhere dito no which is outside the primitive circle so hindi natin siya mapaplot kasi again yung primitive circle natin is yan yung um, area kung saan natin gustong i-plot yung yung relationships ng mga lines and planes natin okay so in this particular case, instead of using the South Pole, ang gagamitin natin is we use the North Pole instead. So if we use the North Pole, then we can uh, intersect it with the primitive plane. So if we were to view the primitive plane, ito yung primitive plane natin, meron tayong two points dyan. Isang point dyan, which is this red uh, line vector. Tapos meron din tayo dyan. Isang point dito. Okay? So the convention is if you use uh, the South Pole, uh, for plotting your um, line, then you have a solid na point. Tapos pagka if you use the north pole, uh, then you have a hollow point. So the difference is um, the relationships remain the same, no? Pero parang it just indicates where the uh, intersection is dun sa sphere natin, whether it's a northern hemisphere na na intersection point or if it's a southern hemisphere. So in this case, itong pink na line na kinerate ko, this is a southern hemisphere na intersection. No? Tapos dito sa itong red, this is a northern hemisphere na intersection. Okay? So you can see later on that uh, since these are vectors, no, kunwari, if you look at the vector here, itong ano actually, itong red point na to, if we uh, project it downwards, you know, so we complete natin yung vector, so it's a extending line. Therefore, meron kang intersection dito sa southern hemisphere. Tapos if you connect it with the northern hemisphere, uh, the northern pole, oh, if you connect it with the northern pole, then meron siyang certain intersection dito. And lalabas siya dito as, parang ganyan, no? 
So parang nasa opposite end siya. But uh, they the, the two of them will uh, begin to describe uh, ano no, the same plane and uh, therefore their relationships with other planes will also be the same. No? So you can use either. Pero in, in general, we always like to do ano no, the the uh, yung solid point or the northern hemisphere na um na projections kasi yun yung mas madali no mas madaling ma-imagine and since crystallography to whether it's a northern hemisphere or a southern hemisphere na uh, projection line it doesn't matter no so unlike sa geology na nagma-matter kung ano no uh, etong stereographic projections kasi ginagamit din siya sa geology uh, doon sa cases na yon kailangan kasi na or important kung nasa northern ba or nasa southern no to indicate whether o ano yung direct kung kumbaga yung angle nila is dependent no kung positive ba siya na angle or negative na angle okay okay so um I, uh, we're done with the basics tapos uh, gusto natin na na magplot na ngayon no so the way we do that is kailangan natin yung um yung tinatawag na stereo net no and i think you've already seen the stereo net before Stereo net will look something like this. Ganito yung itsura ng isang stereo net. No? So, ito, itong nakikita nyo ngayon, uh, the, wait lang ah, adjust ko lang konti class. No? Ah, uh, back tayo din. Okay. So, if you look at this, ito yung stereo net natin. Meron siyang the different na mga lines, no? And these lines are just the scales na gagamitin natin para ma-measure natin yung different angles. Tsaka sila din yung mga guidelines natin para ma-trace yung different na ano, no? Um, angles and uh, or ma-different na the planes and uh, poles no okay so the way it works is um, if you have for example etong ano um etong mga lo, uh, basically parang longitudinal line lo, longitudinal lines no yung longitudinal lines natin they represent yung um yung mga uh, i forgot the term no Uh, let me review my notes. Kalimutan ko yung term na ginagamit natin. And by the way, another term for this uh, stereographic na net no, is known as a wolf net. <clears throat> and dito sa wolf net, ah, I remember the term na. So, Dito sa ano, um, itong longitudinal line, sometimes we call it as uh, yung great circles. No? So it's great circles because yung, yung circles na yun is, uh, has the same diameter as your, um, as your sphere. No? So whatever the diameter of the sphere is, that is the diameter of the great circle. So the way we imagine this great circle is, um, pwede tayong bumalik dun sa ano natin. So the way we can imagine this is uh, para siyang if we have multiple na ano no. Well, meron tayong ano. Uh, we, we've described earlier na pwedeng uh, points no. Diba? Yung points natin pwede natin i-project. So let's just say na for example ang gagawin natin is multiple lines na ganyan no. So meron tayong multiple lines. So ganyan. Then we can actually draw a plane no so if we were to uh, project this downwards 
pwede ang, ang, ang lalabas is we'll have something that looks like this. Ganyan. So this is uh, sometimes known as a trace of a plane. No? So we call this as a trace because um, if in, in, in stereographic projection, if you have a line and you project it towards your, um, if you project it towards your primitive na plane, then you get a point. Therefore, if uh, an, an, a plane is just a collection of lines, no? so if a plane is a collection of lines, then um, if projected towards the stereographic projection, then it will, it will become a collection of points. No? And a collection of points is just a line. So therefore, uh, kung line siya, magiging points sa, sa stereographic projection, tapos kung plane naman siya, magiging line siya sa stereographic projection. So itong trace na to, we can imagine this as a sort of... Uh, if you draw multiple great circles, no? so for example, meron tayong uh, great circle na ganito. Tapos ikot natin tong great circle na to. And this is, uh, again, uh, passing through the, the center of the sphere. So ikot natin siya ng paganyan. Then you can create something that looks like this. Tapos ikot pa natin siya multiple times. Then parang uh, as long as we stick it to the, or yung rotation natin is along the center, then we will be able to create na parang ano no, na different na lines, eto. And if we were, if you were projecting it dito sa primitive circle natin, then it will look something like this. Parang ganyan. Okay? So parang ang sinasabi lang dito sa ano, yung longitudinal lines is sila yung parang um, pag nag-ikot ka ng mga great circles around the uh, around the sphere no okay so it's important because uh, uh, for us to be able to know the angle kunwari if you want to know the angle between this point and this point kunwari ganyan we need some way to measure the um, parang angular distance between them no so the way we do it is if we have a great circle kunwari ganyan that encompasses the first point and another great circle and it encompasses the second point, and we know uh, kung ilang degrees natin inikot tong great circle na to, then we'll be able to know the uh, exact distance between them. Angular distance, that is to say, no, between them. Okay? So kaya importante yung great circles natin. Okay? So um, dun sa great circles natin, if you have one great circle na ganyan, kailangan din natin malaman kung, kunwari, may point tayo dito versus a point dito. So how will we able to know uh, kung gaano kalayo yung point na to versus yung point na to? Okay? So for that we use mga small circles, no? So i parang isa subdivide natin tong great circle na to with uh, small circles. So uh, the way we imagine that is, for example, if meron tayong oh, sorry. So yan yung great circle natin, no? So let's imagine na meron tayong mga small circles dito. So a small circle is a circle created na which has a smaller na radius dun sa great circle natin no? so if for example dito create tayo ng ganyan another small circle dyan small circle oh, ganyan okay so kumbaga if this were a sphere just imagine um, kung ang sphere is an onion no? it's like you're chopping the onion in a uh, parang perpendicular na manner no Tama? so kung ito yung or uh, you're chopping the onion uh, parallel along this direction of the pole no tapos sino chop niya siya perfectly perpendicular to this um para primitive circle no so pag chinop niya siya ng ganyan you have effectively subdivided your different na great circles into multiple ano okay so if you were to also draw the uh, parang traces of this uh, small circles na to then it will look something like parang magiging ganito siya no so ito yung small circle 1 yan hanggang umabot ka sa point na nasa gitna na and yung sa gitna will look like a actually yung sa gitna no tong uh, parang small circle natin na to this is also a uh, great circle no kasi this has the same diameter now as the ano no so kung kung yung uh, imagination natin na nagcha-chop tayo parang chin up nyo siya at the uh, at the center which will give you the maximum na radius no 
So that is a uh, great circle actually kung parang equator na to. Okay? So um, if you look back at your wolf net, so you'll see na ito yung mga great circles and small circles na yun. So ito yung uh, equator natin. Okay? Ito siya. Tapos yung great circles natin is this one. Ito mga lines na running through this um, direction. Tapos ito mga small circles na to, ito siya. Okay? So, <clears throat> um, let's try to plot some uh, points muna no? sa great circle natin. And for this, gamit tayo na nga yan. Okay. So, the first thing we'll do is establish muna natin kung saan, ano tong point na to. Itong nasa gitna. Okay. So, what are we assigning this uh, middle value here? Okay. Ah, mukhang mas mahirap ata tingnan no. Na lang. I think this will be easier to look at. No? Okay. So first, i-label muna natin yung nasa gitna. Itong part, portion na to. So um, for us to be able to create this point, dapat uh, we need to know kung ano yung direction na to. So the standard direction is that uh, you are looking at this uh, crystallographic cube. And this is your 0, 0, 001 direction. Okay. So, kung ito yung 0, 0, 001 direction, 0, 0, 001, oh, sorry. Oh. Ito, zero, this is the 0, 0, 001 direction. Nakikita pa ba? Uh, I'll use a thicker line. No? Para mas mali, no? Then. Okay. So, ito, 0, 0, 001. Then, that is saying na parang siya yung Z direction. No? Z direction. Tapos kailangan na natin yung x and y direction natin. So what we can assign is pwedeng si uh, 100 zero zero is x. Tapos 010 zero is your y direction. No? Okay? Uh, uh, but some textbooks have a standard na, ano, no? na parang orientation or parang projection sa uh, stereographic plane natin. And uh, in that case, um, kailangan natin or kung gusto natin na standard siya, uh, pwede natin sundin yung, yung standard notations na yun. No? Pero it, it doesn't really matter kasi kumbaga na, naikot naman yung stereographic net natin no? along uh, certain uh, directions. So, so hindi dapat nagmamatter pero kumbaga uh, mas madali lang kasi if you look at uh, different, um, kumbaga if, you, if you're using the same notation, mas madali natin ma-, ma maintindihan yung gustong sabihin ng reference natin kasi same notation yung ginagamit natin. Okay? So the notation is uh, yung x natin or hindi ko na sasabihin na lang na x and y siya, no? Uh, etong 100 na to, yung positive 100 is projected uh, dito sa in a way nasa negative y siya, no? So, this is your 100. Tapos yung um, nandito sa right side sa positive x supposedly is the 0, 1, 0. Okay? So if you look at your crystal, balik tayo sa crystal natin. No? So ito siya and let me uh, let me start over lang. No? So we say na ito is the 0, 0, 1 direction. 0, 0, 1. So, ito, from here to here, and ito, since naka, ano siya, uh, konti, no? Uh, naka move to the right, uh, or naka parang rotate siya konti. So, this one should be my 0, 0, 1. Ano, sorry. This is my 1, 0, 0, no? Tama? Tapos ito, moving into this direction, this is my 0, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0. Okay? So, um, if you do the uh, projection lines, no? So, for example, if I do the projection lines, ito, pa, ito, it will meet the sphere at this point. Tapos, pagka pinroject ko rin siya dito sa, ano, um, 
from the south pole. Well, nandito yung south pole, no? If I project it, it will also be in the edges of the ano, uh, of the primitive circle natin. Okay, so kaya siya uh, when drawn dito sa wolf net natin, nasa edge pa rin siya. Okay? That makes any sense. Tapos eto naman si North and South Pole. Pag kunwari, pinroject natin sa taas, it will meet somewhere here. Tapos if you use the South Pole as projection point, then it will meet at the so kunwari ito, tapos connect natin sa South Pole, then it will uh, intersect the primitive circle. Dito sa gitna pa rin. Okay? And it goes with other planes as well. No? Kunwari, if you have a plane na, um, kunwari, ito. Uh, I'm not sure kung anong klaseng plane to, no? Uh, anong specific plane na to, but this is a plane of the 110 variety, no? So, nasa family siya ng mga 110s. So, uh, ito, if you project it uh, this way, Tapos uh, using the south pole, nandito din siya sa edge ng primitive circle natin. And if you use the north pole, ganun din, no? nasa edge din siya. Okay? Okay? So uh, gusto natin is i-plot muna natin lahat ng mga standard na, ano, no? ng mga points natin. So eto, plot muna natin. So uh, we have now... Ito, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Then, therefore, yung opposite end natin is, yun nandito. This is, a, this is your 0, 1, bar 0, no? So, I hope you still remember your uh, crystallographic uh, notations, no? 0, 1, bar 0 is saying na, na negative yung uh, direction ni uh, itong y na component na to. Okay? So, dito, sa other side naman, this becomes your uh, 1 bar 0, 0. Okay? So, this now becomes 1 bar 0, 0. And this is your 0, 1 bar 0. Okay? So, ito yung standard na projection natin no? for uh, for crystal, or the crystallographic uh, projection for uh, in terms of yung stereo net uh, projection. Niya. Okay? So, that's uh, 0, 1, 0. Tapos, hanapin muna natin yung First, hanapin natin is uh, 0, 1, 0 muna. No? Or, or yung 1, 1, 0 muna. So, ito actually class, itong tin ang mga planes na to, or lines na to, ito yung tinatawag natin na um, fourfold na symmetry. No? Because uh, meron, uh, if you look at it uh, from four different na parang views, uh, parang it will look symmetrical pa rin siya in those four different um, orientations in a way. No? Okay? So, usually pagka fourfold symmetry, binibigyan natin ng, siya ng symbol na ano, no? uh, bukod sa da, uh, parang solid point, pwede nga bigay natin symbol sa kanya is a square point. No? Okay? So, this is a fourfold symmetry. Ito, this is a square fourfold. So, fourfolds. Okay, fourfold. Um, a fourfold symmetry point is also known as a tetrad, no? Okay. Tapos, um, pagka meron naman tayong threefold symmetry, we call that as a triad. Tapos, pagka twofold, dyad. So, ang symbol naman ng triad is a triangle. So, ito is fourfold is square. Uh, triad is um, triangle. Tapos, yung dyad natin is given as a, ano no, parang oval shape na ganyan. So, um, yung mga dyads natin is actually yung nagbibilong sa family ng 110s. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin is hanapin muna natin itong mga dyads. And let me just remember na kung tama yung a point is given as a uh, inaalala ko lang class na kung tama ba yung notation na parang square brackets or no, sorry, na parang itong angular na brackets na to yung ginagamit for families kasi yung ito family of family of lines family of planes ano nga ulit yung anyway uh, i-review ko na lang to no? kalimutan ko na rin pero in in 
in um crystallographic na ano no yung pag uh, when we talk about stereographic projections minsan hindi na siya nagma-matter no because again what itong 010 the 010 pole also describes the 010 plane okay so for example ito you look at this this is the 010 pole but it is describing this 010 plane okay so any movement nitong 010 is just the same movement as um this uh, 010 na plane no? and in fact we can um if you want to trace the 010 plane the 010 plane is actually atong plane, plane na to yan yung trace ng this is the trace of the 010 plane siya din yung trace ng 01 bar 0 plane tama and it makes sense because uh, if you look at it kung ito yung uh, 010 ito yung direction of the 010 uh, vector that was of the opposite side is the 01 bar 0 okay it makes sense na ganyan siya okay so uh, similarly itong if you take this trace ito siya yung trace ng 100 na plane this is the 100 plane okay tapos uh etong uh, 001 if you want to take the trace is just actually yung buong circumference na to pag uh, kinuha niyo yung buong circumference na to na ganyan yung primitive circle natin siya yung trace ni 001 which is also the um which is also can be described by the uh, vector 001 bar no which is uh, yung nasa baba nitong ano kung baga kung ito yung parang northern north pole yung south pole natin is the 001 bar okay so in this illustration ito siya yung pababa na to this is the 0 ito yung 001 bar na direction itong south pole okay ito north ito south okay <clears throat> Okay, so hanapin natin na uh, itong um, yung uh, dyads muna, no? And the way we do that is tingin muna tayo ng uh, yung crystallographic na ano natin, no? Na direction. So the first dyad na gusto natin tingnan is yung positive muna, no? So let's look at the positive uh, dyad muna, which is this one. You take a look at this one. This is your um yun nandito uh ulitin ko lang no so ito siya if you connect this this becomes my uh 100 tama so ito yun from here to here uh this is my 010 okay so ito if i take the pole of this plane itong plane na to and this is of the family uh 11110 no it will be uh, oriented 45 degrees this one okay so if i take the angle here it's 45 degrees it's also 45 degrees from this angle here okay tama yun yung relationship kasi ng 110 and itong 110 na to uh, pwede nating i uh, ma plot doon sa ano no and it if you take the plot uh, it will uh, be around the primitive circle, circumference of the primitive circle. No? Okay? So, uh, let's use the stereo net para makuha natin itong uh, 110 na to. So, the 110, um, and this is a trick you, you can also use less. No? Uh, you can imagine itong mga itong ginawa natin as a sort of coordinate system. No? So, for example, if, um, if it's 110, Therefore, you are saying na uh, positive yung um, 110 is positive yung x, positive yung y. And if it's a zero, meaning it's lying on the primitive plane, so nandito siya. Uh, then therefore, dapat located siya dito sa quadrant na to. So we can sort of look at it as a sort of quadrant. No? So dito quadrant na to. Itong quadrant na to is a quadrant wherein puro positive yung uh, values natin. So, if I were to say locate uh, 113 kunwari, isang uh, pole or a plane that is described by 113, then 113 should be located somewhere dito. No? Dito sa quadrant. Nandyan lang siya. Kasi positive yung 1 mo, positive yung 
one uh you have two positive values x and y tapos, tapos positive yung uh, z value no which is uh, ito okay so pag uh, sinabing one war bar 3 it will be located uh, at the same point no pero nasa likod lang so magiging hollow lang siya so pag uh, lahat ng naka yung z natin is naka negative biglang sabihin na sa southern hemisphere siya which is in this case kasi we are now viewing the stereo net as if nasa parang northern hemisphere tayo nakatingin. So if you look at this one, parang yung line of sight natin is nandito tayo. Ito yung mata natin. Okay? So nakatingin tayo from the, from the top. Therefore, ang makikita natin is uh, yung mga northern hemisphere na points. Okay? So um, lahat ng nandito sa plot na to na naka-solid line will actually be just um, lahat ng positive values na Z na ano no dito sa ito okay yung kung if it, it's hkl ang l value niya is uh, positive parate pag nandito siya sa pag naka solid point siya dito sa point sa, sa stereo net natin okay so gawin natin is um uh, we know 110 so therefore 110 should be along this line and since zero to it is located um at the perimeter or the circumference of the primitive circle. Okay? So we measure 45 degrees. So we can either measure from this way or this way. So ito, uh, this is um, 90 degrees kasi yung uh, orthogonal kasi ang 0, 1, 0 and 1, 0, 0, no? So therefore, 90 degrees separates um, um, the distance, the angular distance between them. And each um, gradation ato is, tingnan natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, tig 10 to. And each major na grid line is uh, separated by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, therefore, tig 2 degrees. Itong ano na to. Itong particular wolf net na to, naka uh, per 2 degrees siya. So, if you were to measure 45, that, that's 1, 2, 3, 45. Somewhere dito, no? And just to check, dapat 1, 2, 3, 45 din siya dito. Okay, so if I connect this one, this one and hindi ko kailangan i-connect actually, no? pwedeng ilagay ko lang siya yung point na to and I'll say na eh, it's a dyad, no? So I'll give it a symbol na yung oval symbol natin. So that's a dyad. This is now the, if I were to draw this. Then this will become my 110 point. Okay, now I can do this for every other uh, dyad, no? So the dyad, uh, itong dyad na to, let's say so one, two, three, four, somewhere dyan. This is my one, one bar zero. Again, uh, ito class, uh, mabilis ko na siya nagagawa kasi alam kong uh, one, zero, zero to, dito, zero, one, zero. So therefore, dito sa quadrant na to, it's all positive H or positive X, tapos negative Y. Tapos dito rin, uh, this is a quadrant where in all negative sila. So if uh, gagawin ko siya, it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, ganyan. So ito, magiging 1 bar, 1 bar, 0 to. Tapos yung last natin, and burayin ko lang to. Ha. This becomes 1, 2, 3, 45. So pag ganyan siya. Okay, so this is uh, 1 bar, 1, 0. And itong quadrant na to, this is all negative naman yung x, tapos positive yung y, or negative yung mga h values, positive yung k values. Okay, so burayin ko lang tong line na to. No? So if you were to, if I were to ask you, nasaan yung trace ng plane, plane one, uh, 1 bar, 1 bar, 0, then that um, trace should be, kung ito yung 1 bar, 1 bar, 0, yung trace actually niya is ito. Ito siya. Okay? Tapos yung, which is the same trace as the 1, 1, 0, no? Tapos ito naman, pag kinonect nyo siya, then yung magiging trace ni uh, 1 bar, 1, 0, tsaka si 1, 1, 1, 1 bar, 0, no? And, they are describing the same plane because you, if you look at it this way, kunwari ito, 
this one one zero and going to the opposite direction that is actually your uh, itong direction na to yun yung opposite na one one bar one bar zero okay okay so ito yun lang natin so let me just complete this no Ganyan. So, meron tayo nakuha ang mga dyads tapos pero kulang pa tayo no. We are lacking a few more dyads. So, how do we find the other dyads? Ah, uh, kailangan kasi natin yung mga tapos na tayo sa 110s. Kailangan natin yung mga naka-form na ah uh, yung 011 uh, 101 etc etc. Okay? So, for us to find that hanapin natin siya dito sa ano no. If you imagine this Yung mga planes na yon actually, sila yung planes na ganito yung orientation. No? So, if i ano ko siya. Siya yung planes na nakaganito, no? Ano, sorry. Yung nakaganyan. Ah, ganyan. So, kumbaga, hindi na siya nakahiga sa primitive plane natin, no? So, if this is your, um, itong primitive plane, hindi na siya nakahiga kasi may angular distance na siya uh, from the primitive plane papunta dito. So, may angle na to. Okay? So, uh, we all know that si 110, parati siyang may 45 degree relationship doon sa mga uh, tetrad natin, no? Tama? So, for example, ito, may 45 degree uh, relationship siya dito sa uh, itong nakaiga na plane na to, which is your 0, 0, 001 bar or pwede rin sabihin natin this is the 0, 0, 001 no okay so may 45 degree siya dyan so for us to measure that pwedeng mag measure tayo from this end no so for example ito if you measure 1 2 3 45 here then that will be the location of na may 0, 1, 1. So, uh, ito yung another fast way to do it para mas mabilis nyo siyang magawa tong ano, no? Tong standard na projections na to. Um, or, or the primary projections. So, pag hinanap natin yung primary projections, we are saying na hanapin natin lahat ng mga tetrads, which is uh, yung mga of the form 1, 1, 0. Tapos, hanapin natin lahat, na, oh, sorry, of the form 1, 0, 0. Hanapin natin lahat ng dyads of the form 1, 1, 0. And hanapin natin lahat ng uh, triads of the form 1, 1, 1. Okay? So, ito. Hanapin natin siya. It's uh, 1, 1. Ito, 0, 0, 1 siya kasi it's in between. And this is one quick way, no? And this is for from... Uh, I'll show you in more detail later siguro, no? If we have time. Pero this is because of uh, vector addition, no? So, for example, if this is a vector 0, 0, 1, tapos gusto mo makuha yung... Um, vector addition yeah because basically 0 1 1 well, if this is 0 0 1 and this is 0 1 0 let's just say y axis to z axis to if this is 0 0 1 and this is uh 1 0 1 0 then uh to get 0 1 1 is just adding the two vectors not together if i add uh these two vectors together ito siya, this is actually my 0 1 1 okay so this is 0 0 1 uh 0 1 0 Itong vector na to is along this plane, no? The 0, 0, 1. Okay? So, itong 0, 1, 1 na to, um, since it's along the, um, it's in this, uh, parang ano, no? In between these two. So, dapat in between din siya dito sa um, line connecting the 0, 0, 1 and the uh, 0, 1, 0. Okay? So, you, you can already predict it, no? So, if you look at this 0, 1, uh, 1, Therefore, yung then dito, if I measure uh, 1, 2, 3, 45 degrees somewhere here, this will be my 0, 0, 1, 1. Tama? As dito rin. If I measure 1, 2, 3, 4, 45 somewhere dito. So again, I, I can measure from here or from here class. No? Kasi 45 degrees naman, 90 degrees naman to. So if either if I measure from this one to this one or this one to this one, it won't really matter, no? Ito, so we have 1, 2, 3, 45. Same. And last, 
natin is 1, 2, 3, 45, somewhere dyan. So, ito is 0, 1, 0, 1 bar. Ah, no. So, I'm sorry. Dapat ito, this should be 1 bar, 0, 1. Through vector addition lang. No? So, 1 bar, 0, 1 siya. Dito, if vector addition lang din natin. So, this becomes 0, 1 bar, 1. Tapos dito sa point na to, this is vector addition natin. That becomes 1, 0, 1. Okay? So dito, nakompleto na, na, na natin lahat ng ano, no, mga dyads natin. And let's uh, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that's, that looks right. No? Meron tayong 8. Okay? Now, we need to get... Uh, yung mga 111 naman natin. Okay? So, uh, the, the way we can uh, look at it is, um, and I probably have to do a new one. Now. Okay? So, let's imagine a crystal first. Okay, and I'll just roughly draw this crystal out now. Okay. Oop. Okay, kunwari ganyan siya. Okay, so that's my crystal. Tapos, uh, I'll just say na for simplicity, no, ito yung origin natin. Mas makikita siguro yung ilo. Okay, so if I want to draw, draw ito, yun nandito, this is the 1, 0, 0 direction. Ito yung 0, 1, 0 direction. Tapos sa taas, this is my uh, 0, 0, 1 direction. Okay? So, let's first try to draw nasaan si 1, 1, 1, no? the easiest one. So, 1, 1, 1 is may nag-intersect siya sa 1. Intersection din dito. Ano, sorry. Intersect siya dyan, dito, and uh, dito, no? Okay, so that's my 1, 1, 1. Ito. Now, if you look at this, um, you can have uh, several na, ano, no? Parang uh, relationships na pwede mo tingnan. Pwede mo actually tingnan yung uh, angle from 0, 0, 1. Tapos pwede mo rin tingnan yung angle niya from um, from one, from the, one zero, uh, from the uh, 1, 1, 0 na planes. Okay? So, uh, try lang natin muna tingnan ng, kunwari, if you have a plane, itong plane na to, So if you look at this plane, hindi mahirap pala. Huwag itong plane na ito. Hmm. May i-check lang ang klasa. Ah, by the way, pwede pala natin, uh, before uh, I proceed with that, uh, I don't know, analogy, pwede, atin, uh, pwede pa natin i-connect tong lines na to. So, if I were to connect the trace, so for example, if i -co connect natin tong following the great circle, no? Ito, kunwari ito. Follow natin. This is the 45 degree great circle. If I connect this trace here, and siguro rough estimate ko na lang to, no? So, da dapat, if you were to do this, uh, kumbaga, if you follow nyo mismo yung great circle, no? pero ngayon, in-estimate ko lang siya. Um, ito, pagka final nyo yung trace na to, this is actually um, yung trace ni uh, 0, 1 bar uh, 1. Ito, ito nandito, this is the trace. Trace siya. This is the trace for 0, 1 bar 1. Okay? So, kumbaga, the way we imagine this is, uh, para siyang, if you look back at here, parang kung baga ito, ito yung pole niya, which is somewhere dito, then therefore yung trace niya, 
will be dito. Or sige, para mas ma-imagine nyo, no? Uh, let's just say na eto siya. Itong pole na to, nakaganyan. So, yung plane niya is this one. And if you were to project this plane, it should be parang ganito, no? So, siya, parang siyang ganyan. So, therefore, eto yung pole, eto yung plane. Uh, if we were to project it dun sa primitive plane, it will look something like isang pole at nandito yung trace. Parang ganyan. And parating ganyan yung itsura niya, class, no? uh, the, yung, yung relationship ng mga planes and poles. So, for example, if ito yung mga stereo net natin, para may stereo net tayo na ganyan. Kung may pole ka dyan, usually mahanap mo yung trace niya if you measure 90 degrees away. Uh, that is the uh, location of the trace. So if I have something like nandito din, yung trace din niya somewhere dyan. Okay? And, and that's 90 degrees away. Tapos if you move, uh, kunwari yung trace mo is, or yung point mo is somewhere dito na, sa primitive circle, then yung trace niya is actually itong equatorial plane. Okay? So, uh, So, ang gagawin natin is, uh, for example, ito. Uh, the way we do this dito sa, I don't know, ito muna. Um, if we want to get, uh, nakuha na natin yung trace na to kasi conveniently naka-rotate na yung wolf net natin along uh, this direction. No? Pero kung baga, paano natin makukuha yung trace ni 1 bar 0, 1 and trace ni uh, 1, 0, 1. Okay? So, the way we do that is, kailangan natin i-rotate yung wolf net natin. So, if we rotated our wolf net, so, i-rotate natin siya ng ganyan. And ito yung ginawa nyo sa MET16, no? Nag-rotate tayo. So, if I rotated it this way, such that uh, maka-orienta siya ng ganyan, <laughs> then pwede ko nang ma-measure, makuha yung trace ni 1001 and ni 101 bar 01 and si 101. Okay? So, this is the trace for 101. And again, nag-estimate lang ako dito, class, no? Pero you should uh, follow the great circles. No? Ganyan. Oops. Ito, follow ko rin. Pangit yung ano ko. Para ganyan. So, uh, maraming in inaccuracies dito class no, pero If I were to do this uh, correctly, wait lang. Lahat pala ganyan. Ay, mali yung ginawa ko. Ulitin ko lang ha. So you know you did it correctly pagka itong uh, traces natin nag-intersect siya at yung mga certain points. No? Ito, ito mali yung ginawa ko dito kasi dapat nag-intersect siya dyan. Okay. Actually, itong intersection na to is the uh, the threefold na uh, symmetries, no? Okay. So if I were to bring back, again, and notice how the poles will always be 90 degrees away from its uh, trace, no? So for example, itong uh, 0100 na to, if I measure 90 degrees away from here, this is Uh, 45 to no? 45. Let's measure pa ako ng 45 going this direction. That is the location of my trace. Okay? Okay. Um, so, ang gagawin natin is um, we try to find yung ano muna, no? Ito. So, let's try to prove through parang intersection ng uh, zones, no? So, we can also call a trace as a zone, no? So, yung planes natin, if we draw the trace, we know we call this as a zone. And the best way to imagine a zone is um, if you have, for example, ito, this is a plane, and we call this as a zone. No? So again, pag align siya, this is a plane. All vectors belonging to a zone, if a vector lies within a zone, then, uh, then you can find the... Uh, Kumbaga, if in stereographic projection, with that that vector should uh, be located along the great circle describing the zone. Okay, so for example, if I have uh, vectors na kumare ito, um, ito estimate lang to no, kumare 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, 2, saka 1, 4, 4. 
then it belongs to let's just say it belongs to a certain um, a certain zone na hindi to accurate class no? <laughs> gumagawa lang ako ng ano kunwari lang a certain zone 110 so if that's the case kung nasa 110 siya although hindi siya possible no kasi na later malalaman niyo bakit hindi siya possible pero kunwari lang nasa zone siya ng uh, 110 and the 110 zone is ano para mas malinaw na example no nasa zone siya ng 101 So kung ito yung zone ng 101, then uh, ito, uh, mahanap natin yung anything along this zone. Kumara ito. Itong point na to, point na to, point na to, if you take this point, this point, will be all vectors. Ito mga points na to, these vectors will lie along this zone. Okay? So nandito dapat siya. Okay? So it's important kasi if you have, for example, let's... Uh, I don't know. If we have two zones, kumari ganyan. If you intersect two zones with each other, ang line of intersection niya is actually the vector that belongs to both this zone and this zone. Okay? So, anong implication niyan? Um, if you have uh, a, let's just, I don't know, drawing ko lang dito sa, sa side or lakihan ko na nga yung ano ko. working area. Parang ganito. So, if you have, kunwari, meron tayong yan. Tapos may two zones tayo, no? Kunwari, ito yung zone natin or trace. Tapos may isa din tayong zone dito. Ang intersection ng, ng point na to is actually a pole, no? Pero that pole describes a vector that belongs to both this zone and this zone. Tama? Let's just say zone A and zone B. Itong pole 1 uh, na to belongs to both uh, uh, zone A and zone B. So kaya siya importante kasi, again, itong, it, ito yung illustration na yun. No? Yung intersection nila will be the vector that be belongs to both uh, zone A and zone B. Okay? So pwede natin gamitin yan para mahanap actually si... Uh, yung triads natin. No? So, if you look at it, itong 001 na to is um, if we try to look at the uh, zone uh, or at the pole that describes a 111, itong 111 pala, I'm sorry. Itong pole that describes the 111 is this pole right here. Tama? Itong pole na to. That is the pole that is perpendicular to uh, this um, particular na zone na to or particular na plane na to tama and again kung ano man movement ni ni pole is the same movement as the plane no okay so if i move if i were to uh, look at this then etong particular line na to i can say na it belongs to this zone right here tama if i were to draw this uh, zone And this uh, particular zone right here is the, and <coughs> ano natin siya ina, no? uh, this is my 110. Tama ba? Tama. This is the 110 plane. So naala niyo ba kung paano siya determine? parang pwede natin i-shift no yung yung uh, zero uh, yung origin natin pag shift natin siya then it intersects at uh, tong 1 nag-intersect siya at um, negative oh, para ba to uh, kung nandito yung uh, origin natin you have this one then it intersects at 1 negative 1 saka infinity Ah, so, 1, 1. Ah, so, 1, 1 bar 0 pala to. Anyway, eh, hindi siya masyara nung mamatay. No? So, let's just say na nag-intersect uh, siya sa um, mali, pangit kasi yung pinili ko. Okay lang yun. Hmm. Tama, 1, 1 bar 0 siya. Uh, 
Teka lang natin ha. Mm-hmm. Okay. One, one bar zero. Okay. So, uh, one, one bar zero to. Tama nga ba? Ulitin ko lang. Uh, if we move our origin... I can move my origin, no? Uh, Inimagine ko muna class, ha? Tama. Dapat 1, 1, bar 0 to. Okay? Tapos, uh, so part siya ng zone 1, 1, bar 0. Tapos part din siya ng zone if we get another zone, no? That uh, also um, encompasses this uh, plane. Part din siya ng, if I take this one, no? Ito. Eh, hindi ko alam kung makikita nyo kasi nakaano siya. Nakahiga siya. Itong plane na to. If you view it from this angle, ito siya. Para siyang nakaganyan. Itong plane na to na nakaganyan. Tapos, uh, siya yung nakaganito. If this is the origin, siya yung papunta dyan. Papunta dito sa corner na to. Uh, I hope that makes sense. No? Pero in any case, parang ito siya, uh, intersection actually siya ng zone ng 1, 1, bar 0. And this zone right here is the, and if I move the origin again, uh, intersection siya ng 1, Wait lang. Intersect siya at the z-axis at 0, infinity sa x, tapos negative, uh, positive 1, c, negative 1. So, magiging 0, 1, 1 bar siya. Okay? So, uh, and 0, 1, 1 bar, and gusto natin northern hemisphere, so 0, 1 bar, 1 yung gamitin natin. Okay? So, 0, 1 bar 1 to, itong plane na to. So, again, ang intersection ni si 1, 1, 1 can be found by intersecting, uh, the, it belongs to both the zone 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 bar 0 and 0, 1 bar 1. Okay? So, if we take the intersection of these two zones, dapat mahanap natin yung location ni 1, 1, 1. Okay? So, let's uh, try that, no? So, again, ano yung pinuha natin? 1, 1 bar 0 and 0, 1 bar 1. 1, 1 bar 0 is, uh, where's 1, 1 bar 0? 1, 1 bar 0. This is 1, 1 bar 0. Therefore, ang trace niya is this one. Tama? This is the zone. 1, 1 bar 0. Okay? So, etong trace na to, follow natin siya. And to illustrate, let me just use a green, no? Yung green na to. Yan. Tapos, hanapin natin yung, yung isa, which is the 0, 1 bar 1. Uh, 0, 1 bar 1 is, this is 0, 1 bar 1. And yung trace niya is, uh, di ba ito yung pole natin? So, it's 90 degrees away from it. Yan yung uh, trace niya. So, ito, itong trace na to. And it intersects at dito sa location na to. That is the location of my location to ng 1, 1, 1 ko. Okay? Now, another way of determining it, it simply is just be, look at the, ano no, kung saan nag-intersect. And if you look at this, 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 0 is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay? Tapos pwede rin ipagka, kasi in between siya, no? Again, pag vector addition, dapat in between siya sa two vectors na yun. Tapos pwede rin tingnan nyo to. If you look at 0, 1, 1 and 1, 0, 0, uh, if you add the two, that becomes 1, 1, 1, which is, in between this one and this one. Okay? And lastly, pwede rin, if you look at this uh, uh, parang great circle na to, that's 1, 0, 1. Add nyo with 0, 1, 0 gives you 1, 1, 1. Okay? 
So, uh, if we were to complete it, so uh, let's just take a look, no? Uh, then this is zero one one. This is one bar one zero. Then therefore, ito one bar one one to. And pwede ring gamitin yun yung concept ng ano no? One bar one one. Das ito. Uh, this becomes uh, one bar one bar one. Pwede gamitin yung concept of yung quadrants no? So dapat dito negative lahat, etc. etc. So ito. Na nasan ba to? This is one. 1 bar 1, 0 to, no? So, 1, 1 bar 1. Okay? So, yun yung um, yung primary na uh, projections natin, no? For stereographic projections. And if you look at it, each of this projection actually forms a, ano, no? A triangle. So, look at it. And we call these triangles are, uh, we call these triangles as uh, our stereographic triangles, no? So, look at this one. Each triangle that you will form um, has an apex that is a um, a triad, a dyad, and a, a tetrad. So, ito tetrad, dyad, triad. So, if you look at another stereographic triangle, for example, ito, let's take this one. Ito. You see that it is a tetrad, dyad, tapos triad. Okay? So, what's important about stereographic triangles is that uh, actually, pwede mo ma-describe lahat ng relationship with just one uh, um, stereographic triangle. No? Kasi if you look at, if you just want to know relationships, what is 1, 1, 2 uh, can exhibit the same behavior as 1, 2, 1. Tama? Magkaiba lang kasi yung uh, parang placement niya. So parang if I were to have a point na kunwari nandito siya. So if it were um, kunwari nandito na stereographic triangle na to, then I can estimate na, okay, it's it's close to 0, 1, 1. Therefore, close siya dun sa dyad niya. So, therefore, ang estimate is somewhere dito din yung, um, yung, yung point na to sa particular na uh, stereographic triangle na to. Similarly, if I take a random stereographic triangle, kumara ganyan, then therefore, itong point na to, it's closer to the, it's close to my dyad. Therefore, dito, close to my dyad siya na ganyan. So, yun yung importance ng stereographic triangles class, no? Kasi um, since all of the, these relationships can be described by just one stereographic tri triangle, no? If, if you're not particular, in, uh, if you're not, uh, kumbaga, hindi kayo particular sa signs nila. Okay? So, um, yung 111, kaya din natin actually siyang ma-determine ma through angles, no? So, um I'll send you a link doon sa uh, ano natin. And probably ito yung ginamit sa MET16 din, no? yung sa do it poems. Yun ba yung ginamit nyo? To, to learn about stereographic triangles? Or ano yung source na ginamit? And I'll show do it poems. No? Kiko, pag nakita nyo, baka mas ma-refresh yung memories. No? Yes, sir. Hmm. Ito siya. Tama, naalala niyo ito. So, hindi ko na siguro, ang kinover niyo lang siguro is ano no, uh, parang yung WolfNet, yung basic, tapos construction, plotting of poles, na through the intersection of great circles, plotting of poles, intersection of small circles, etc. Tapos, ah, uh, Ang hindi siguro na discuss is ito no applications in uh, stereographic uh, projection application of stereographic projections in terms of slipping no so um we can uh, naalala niyo pa ito from Mati 11 yung concept of slip yung uh, kung paano kinocompute yung critical resolved shear stress So I uh, I hope you still remember this, no? So to solve the critical resolved shear, shear stress, ang kailangan natin is the slip direction, yung slip plane normal, yung force natin in relation with the uh, slip plane, tapos uh, yung area na yung overall area ng ano natin ng 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 specimen, okay? So um 
yung yung mga slip planes na to kayang-kaya natin siyang iano no i-determine doon sa uh, stereographic projections natin because uh, we if we have a slip plane and slip planes are usually nasa ano naman siya na, yung mga standard na directions so mga 111 100 etc depending on yung kung kung anong type of uh, um crystal it is kung FCC ba siya BCC etc okay so um let's just say na Let's, uh, let's do an example. No? Ito siya. So, if we were to take a, ano, no? a slip direction and a tensile axis, so kung wari nag ano, tayo, measure natin yung tensile axis and we imagine that the tensile axis is um, is along the uh, Z direction or the 001 direction. So, phoenix natin siya dito. Okay? Then, um, pwede actually natin mapakita itong uh, slip directions nat natin ito and the slip plane normal. Okay? So, if we show it like that, then kaya natin, uh, since uh, naka-stereographic projection to kaya natin ma-measure yung angle between yung angular distance from the slip direction, that will be our lambda, and the angular distance from the slip plane normal, that will be our um, that will be our uh, our one symbol of phi. This is phi, no? Yeah, tama. This is phi. So, uh, if we take the force over area, yung given area, multiplied by the cos of phi times the cos of lambda, you will get the critical resolved shear stress. And this factor here, right here, no, yung cos phi, cos lambda is known as yung Schmidt factor natin. Okay? So, um, when the Schmidt factor is at its maximum, then you will have slipping. Slipping will occur now. Okay. So during slip, uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng ano no? Uh, the the const uh, the. Eto if 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 walang constraint, dapat ganito yung mangyari no? Nagsislip yung sample natin, so nag move ever so slightly tong force natin, papunta uh, or yung kung baga etong um kung hindi siya constraint, dapat etong uh, area na to dapat mag-move to the left tapos ito mag-move to the right din pero since constraint siya uh, what actually happens is uh, nag-move yung slip direction natin no so if this is the original slip direction dahil constraint yung material mo sa top well, itong part na to is constraint and also this is constraint no? lalo na pag nagte-tensile test tayo then dapat yung uh, new the slip direction natin is uh, nagro-rotate din no and the way we determine that is itong tensile axis actually na to nagmo-move siya towards the slip direction no? okay parang ganyan mm ito yung medyo importante no this is the the dales rule so um remember na ano no if you Ang sabi natin na etong cos phi cos uh, lambda marami kasing combination to no depending on the slip direction and the kunwari yung FCC natin what is FCC FCC has slip direction ano yung close pack sa slip FCC okay centered cubic nasa 110 family no tama pag FCC so in FCC there are multiple na um kumbaga maraming uh slip directions or mar maraming permutations ng slip directions no pero merong isa na magbibigay sa iyo ng maximum na uh, maximum na yung schmidt factor etong schmidt factor na to so to get the maximum schmidt factor pwede natin gamitin itong ano no gagamitin natin yung dales rule so dales rule is that may medyo graphical yung approach niya no so if we have a um a particular na ano no uh, let me move forward tayo so kumare lang ito this is the etong 1 2 3 natin is uh, yung tensile axis kunwari no so this is the tensile axis tapos uh, dun sa 1 2 3 na to um gusto natin malaman kung alin yung slip uh, direction and slip um kumbaga al alin yung magbibigay sa atin ng maximum na Schmidt factor 
ang gagawin lang natin is we uh, we determine first ang isang ano no yung tinatawag na reflection plane so etong reflection plane na to is this one okay so yung reflection plane natin uh, i create natin siya doon sa side ng triangle opposite of the uh, of the slip direction so in this case to find the slip plane uh, take the wala kasing sinabi ano ba sinabi ng ano to hindi sinabi kung anong type of crystal siya no kasi kailangan natin yung type of crystal para ma-determine natin kung alin yung slip plane at alin yung slip direction is center Okay, um hindi naman siguro magma-matter, no? Um in, in this in general, hindi siya nagma-matter masyado class no kasi If you uh, lalo na sa ano normal na crystallographic na ano no na ano natin uh, arrangement for metals usually either FCC or BCC lang naman sila so kung FCC or BCC lang either ang slip plane mo is um or ang ang slip direction mo is the 111 tapos slip plane is the 101 or baliktad parang ang slip direction is the 101 or the 110 na family tapos yung slip a uh, plane is the 111 family tama so hindi masyado nagma-matter no kasi uh, uh, ang ang formula naman natin is ang formula for the CRRS or critical resolved shear stress CRSS pala the critical resolved resolved shear stress is just cos phi and cos lambda no so whether ito yung slip plane normal mo or ito yung slip direction or kung nabaliktad siya Um, it wouldn't really matter kasi cos phi, cos lambda pa rin naman yung lalabas sa kanya. No? Okay? Pero for the sake of accuracy, kailangan natin uh, ma-determine kung, um, kung anong type of crystal siya para ma-exact natin na uh, de exactly define kung alin doon ang slip direction at alin doon ang slip plane normal. Okay? So tingnan natin to. So si Dale's rule, sinasabi lang niya is, uh, kunwari ito yung slip direction mo, you do a reflection plane that is opposite the edge of this apex. So if this is 111, yung opposite edge niya is this is this uh, reflection plane right here. So uh, let's just say na kunwari nandito ako, 111, tapos uh, let's just say na nandito yung uh, tensile axis ko. So if this is the tensile axis, then the reflection plane, uh, so kung nandito siya, then it belongs to this triangle. Tama? So meaning if uh, this is the apex uh, the vertex vertex I, I should say the vertex of the triangle yung opposite edge niya is this edge that is the reflection plane for the 111 na in this case uh, let's just say slip direction siya tapos 011 yung uh, slip plane normal no okay so in this case kunwari ito balik tayo dito sa case na to no this is your stereographic uh, triangle that uh, this 1 2 3 um, tensile direction belongs to Therefore, yung reflection plane natin is um, kukunin natin yung opposite edge sa 111 natin. Okay? So, opposite edge yan. That is the reflection plane. Tapos, ang gagawin natin is i-project uh, natin papunta sa adjacent na stereographic triangle. No? Yung 111. Okay? Ta dito. So, it goes to the opposite na parang uh, same na symmetry sa kanya. No? So, for example, if it's a triad, pupunta ka sa opposite na stereographic triangle to the opposite na triad. Okay? So, um, ito, this is now um, the slip direction that will give you the maximum na Schmidt factor for the cos uh, phi or cos lambda. And again, hindi siya masyado nang mamatter no? kasi interchangeable naman siya. So, either cos phi or cos lambda, yun yung magbibigay ng maximum. Tapos, for the slip plane normal naman, and let's say na ito yung slip plane normal, yung since ito yung stereographic triangle natin this is the vertex then therefore opposite of that vertex will be the 
reflection plane. So opposite of this is this uh, triangle's edge, no, which is now a reflection plane. Then pupunta tayo sa kabilang uh, adjacent na stereographic triangle, which is this is the adjacent stereographic triangle now. So if it's a, uh, the adjacent stereographic triangle, then therefore um, yung maximum natin will be located, um, yung max, magbibigay na maximum Schmidt factor no, will be the dyad opposite in this opposite na uh, stereographic adjacent, I should say, uh, stereographic triangle. No? So ito 0, 1, 1. Punta tayo sa reflection plane. Dapat dito tayo mag-end. Okay? So, ganyan. Okay? So, meaning yung magbibigay sa atin ng uh, maximum Schmidt factor is if pipiliin natin itong uh, slip direction na to for this or tensile direction, no? if we measure the angular distance between 1, 2, 3 and this one and the angular distance between 1, 2, 3 and this one, that will give you the maximum na Schmidt factor. Okay. So ngayon, pwede nang i-measure mo through stereographic projections. No? So measure mo lang yung angular distance between them. Meto, measure mo rin yung angular distance between them. Okay. Um, wala na tayong time, no? I could have shown you more uh, parang examples of how to measure. Uh, pero siguro we can do it. Uh, I could give some examples na lang siguro on how we can uh, measure this. Or, or kung gusto nyo, extend tayo ng konting, kahit konting uh, a few minutes lang, no? 10 minutes lang siguro. Tapos uh, magbigay lang ako ng a few examples on how we can measure different angles. No? Okay? Let's just say given tayo ng isang angle na uh, or isang This is measuring uh, the angular difference between uh, two points. No? Kunwari, may point one tayo na ganyan. Kunwari, itong x. And then we have another point, itong y. And gusto natin ma-measure yung angular distance between them. Then the way we do that is, kailangan um, ma-line up natin yung dalawang to in such a way na they belong to the same great circle, no? So why is that necessary? Because if you look at this, may point tayo dyan, that's my point tayo dito. So for us to measure the true angle between them, kailangan natin malaman, ko, kailangan natin i-set up sila in such a way that they belong to the same plane. Tama, no? Kasi if I have a uh, point uh, vector here, kunwari, and I have another vector here, mahirap malaman yung angle between them if I do not place them in the same uh in the same plane. No? So if I were to move this vector, since vector naman siya, vectors can be translated while still retaining its uh, parang directionality. No? If I were to translate it such that itong vector na to ita translate natin papunta dito, we have something like this. Then therefore, I have defined a certain uh, plane that contains both of them. So since na-contain ko na sila in, in, in a certain plane, uh, <coughs> which they both belong to, kayang-kaya ko na ma-measure yung angle na to or yung angle na to. Itong alpha na to or yung beta na to. Tama? So, um, in this case, parang, again, we can say na ito ay zone. The zone which contains both this vector right here and this ve other vector here. Okay? So, the way I, I, I you can imagine this is, hanapin mo yung zone na, kung sa, yung great circle na to kung saan kino-contain niya yung oh ano nangyari Hahanapin ko tong great circle na to parang ganun yung goal ko no If I can look for a great circle that contains both of this plane then uh, this great circle na to is actually the zone that contains both of the vectors no Okay So dito in this case what we can actually do is we just take our uh, stereo net Tapos the stereo net, i-ikot lang natin yung stereo net natin. No? Uh, at sya may... Ito. So itong stereo net na to, i-move lang natin, ikot lang natin siya And in your case, kailangan may ano kayo, no? Print, may onion pay onion skin kayo na paper. Tapos, i-move nyo lang siya. So, ito, if I move, pwede rin gamitin nyo is, uh, ano, no? 
So let's find a great circle that contains both of them. And ito medyo na kuni ano. I think this one. Tama? Ipat ate ko ate ko. Okay, so the traditional yung ginagawa is may meron tayong um, onion skin na paper, no? Tapos yun yung pinapatong natin on top of a um, on top of a stereo net na printed out stereo net. Tapos iniikot natin yung onion skin, no? Pero what you can do is kung digital, pwede namang um, gawin nyo kung may program kayo that allows you to do layer layering, no? Kunwari dito sa case ko si Photoshop. Photoshop can allow me to do layering. No? So, pwedeng one layer is my final answer and another layer is yung stereo net ko which I can freely move. No? So, in this case, I have now determined a zone that contains both my and it is this zone. No? If I trace this somewhere dyan siya. Ito. So, ito yung zone na kailangan ko i-measure yung angular distance of. Okay, so if I were to measure this, that's, uh, measure natin. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 80, and 80, 82, 84, and 86. So, it, they are 86 degrees apart. Okay, so itong X and Y na to, they are 86 degrees apart from each other. Okay, I hope malinaw yun. No? So that's how you can use your stereo net para uh, iikot natin tapos, I don't know, ma-measure natin yung uh, distances between, angular distances between ano, two points. Okay, tapos pwede din gamitin natin siya to determine uh, the, ano, no? uh, if you've done uh, in, in MET16 siguro, baka yung more familiar method kayo is the, yung gumagamit ng raw and fee na method, no? So, yung raw fee method of plotting is just saying na this is my hanapin ko muna yung angle and I forgot which one is raw and which one is fee. No? Pero I think, uh, kunwari, if I have a certain angle dito the, uh, or a certain vector dito gusto ko i-plot, for me to be able to plot this one, kailangan ko lang ma-determine kung ano yung parang in a way angular distance niya from the uh, play, from the equator hanapin natin to and i forgot the ano no but i think this is the phi so if this is phi hanapin natin yung phi na to yung phi tapos bukod doon hanapin lang din natin yung uh, yung rotation niya from the um, from a known na uh, axis no so kunwari um, if you are doing y-axis, kunwari itong, this is the 0, 1, 0 axis, no? If you know this angle, hanapin natin to. We know this is rho. So we take this angle here. Tapos pag nahanap na natin yung angle from this one, from the uh, parang primitive circle, hanapin naman yung angle natin para umakyat tayo. In a way, para siyang, uh, para siyang uh, x-axis tapos y-axis. Parang ganun yung imagination niya. No? Although this is in, in parang radial na units. Kumbaga. Parang in a way, parang polar coordinates nga to. Eh. Polar nga ba yung term? I forgot uh, the mathematical term for this. No? But I think this is polar. No? So uh, parang ganun. No? Uh, you measure rho and phi. And with that, you can find any angle. No? And that's uh, usually the method done pag, uh, sa mga, ng mga geologists. No? Pag, uh, when they talk about uh, the balik that I think this is raw, no? or but it wouldn't really matter, no? A matter of notation lang to. Pero mukang ito yung raw, ito yung fee. Okay, so that is how to plot any point, no? Using raw fee method. So take the angle. So in this case, parang ganito yung gagawin natin. Gagawin natin is uh, rotate back ko lang. No? Uh, ano niya? And para mas malina. No? 
rotate natin siya balik dun sa ano, original line. No? Ay, ito. Saan ba yung center nito? Ah, ito. Okay, so no. Mm. Anyway, ah, uh, gagawin natin class is ano nangyari dito? Ito, okay. The way it works is um, reset, reset pa lang ah. Para magawa natin yung raw fee method is magbe-measure muna tayo ng fee niya. So hanapin natin kung nasaan siya dito sa ano uh, primitive circle. So for example, if I say 30 degrees away. So if I measure 30 degrees away, so that's 1 2 3. So kumare nandito siya 30 degrees away and from this measure tayo ng raw natin. So kunwari 50 degrees from the primitive circle. So if this is the case, para siyang 30 degrees from this one, tapos 50 degrees from this one. Okay? So kung ganon, gagawin natin is from here, ikot lang natin to. Ikot natin siya. Papunta dyan. Tapos measure naman tayo ng 50 degrees. Oh no, so balik tayo. Dapat ang ginawa natin is Ay, mali yung ginawa ko. Not denoting ko siya dito sa taas. And I'll use a different color. So, kung nga ito, nahanap na natin yung 30 degrees. Ikot natin to Such that, ilaline up natin siya dyan. Okay? Tapos, measure tayo ng 50 degrees. So, if I measure 50 degrees, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50 degrees. So, nandyan. So, kung i-reset natin to, ah, mali. Dapat i-drawin ko siya on top po. Ito. Ito yung final point natin. Then, if i-drawin ko siya ng ganyan, no? So, babalik ko. Ito na yung location ng uh, particular pole na hinahanap ko, no? And if I bring back my my stereographic projections no so uh, estimate ko na lang so, ito tapos 45 is 1 2 3 4 5 somewhere dito so, I do projections na ganyan oh yeah estimate na lang to no So it should belong to uh, 45 bullet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is the quick way to do. I don't know. Para mahanap ko yung. Ano, although I did. Uh, medyo pangit yung ginawa ko. No, sa job. Pero ito. This is my threefold. Dito yung twofold ko. And dito yung uh, fourfold ko. Okay. So this is 001. This is. Uh, 011 ano oh, sorry tama 011 and this is my uh this 001 ito ay uh, 1 bar 00 no so this becomes 1 bar 11 okay so it belongs to this stereographic triangle 
itong particular na hinanap natin na kunwari ng tensile axis to. And from here, pwede na mag-do tayo ng different manipulations pa. No? Like finding um, the critical resolved shear stress for this um, itong particular X na point na to. Okay? So yun, medyo kulang yung oras natin no, para ma-fully um, use yung uh, stereographic projections natin no, in, in practical applications or or pang applications uh, involving plastic deformation. So uh, I'll, I'll probably give you some... Ano bang pwede kayo bigay? Bigay ako ng examples on how to use uh, stereographic projections. But... Um, I'm 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 a bit hesitant no na i-gawin siya in uh, kumbaga gagawan ng exam to kasi hindi naman lahat tayo may access to ano no software na kayang magdo ng layering no. So unless of course I, I can find a software where you you can use a free software that can do layering and rotations and etc. Um I'm not sure kaya ba ng word yon? Parang hindi yata, no? Word or PowerPoint? PowerPoint. Mahirap po, sir. Mahirap po kasi nasa taas. Tapos kung gagalawin mo yung nasa baba, posibleng accidentally magalaw mo yung points sa taas, no? Opo. Uh -oh. So kaya may apprehensions ako on in including this sa exam. So baka more of, um, ano lang to, no? Uh, parang additional knowledge. Usually, pag nagpapa-exam kami nito, meron talagang dalang yung mga students na onion skin paper, tapos uh, tsaka yung printed out na stereo net, tapos ginagawa namin in class, physical, tapos iniikot yung ano. Uh, we could do that, no? Pero hindi ko, hindi ko kasi maituro sa inyo yung ano, no? unless mag-prepare ako ng video. Pero yun nga, I'm, I'm having some apprehensions including this exam. Baka kung ma-include man siya sa exam, more theoretical na lang. Wala kayong masyadong gawing manipulation. More of uh, parang may ibibigay na akong mga plots tapos anong ibig sabihin ng relationship nila with each other. Ganun na lang siguro. Okay, so thank you for coming today in this session and I'll see you next week na lang siguro. Thank you, sir. Bye po. Okay, bye-bye.